Hello again. The chill began on Monday and we're likely to see two weeks in total of generally below average days. The city dropped to six overnight, then the wind picked up again, roughening the bay and bringing out the kite surfers. Now it is a northerly wind, but it's certainly not warm. The city sat on 11 for much of the afternoon. That late bit of sunshine was a silver lining in our stretch of cold weather. Sheets of cloud cross Victoria, but only very light patchy rain affected the north. After a brief band of sunshine, and there it is. There is a band of showers. They're crossing the southwest corner now and due in Melbourne later tonight. There is a large area of rain passing to our north, but the trough barely grazes Victoria, so the rain doesn't do much for us either. But look west at the first in the next series of cold fronts approaching. That slides across us tomorrow, but we don't have to wait long for the next one. That one there is a stronger front and more in behind it. The pattern puts these fronts on a conveyor belt, and with each one that peaks here, there is a fresh surge of cold air. They bring gusty showers, wintry hail and snow on the ranges. The pattern is likely to persist right through to next weekend. Now in this pattern the southwest, western Gippsland and the ranges see the most rain, 20 to 50 millimetres over the course of a week. Now this all falls as snow up in the Alps, particularly heavy on Sunday into Monday. And this here shows us that a metre of fresh snow is highly likely. Around the nation tomorrow, Brisbane and Sydney, they clear early morning to sunshine, but the wind has some bite. Showery across the southeastern capitals, heaviest and gustiest in Adelaide as that strong front nears. Perth is dry. To Victoria, cold and breezy, but not bitter. Snow is only above about 1,500 metres tomorrow. The wind direction is a northwesterly, so it's the northern side of the ranges that see most of the showers, as well as the southwest and central coast. Closer in after a burst of showers around midnight tonight, all dry tomorrow morning as that front slides away. Then there is the chance of showers in the afternoon and evening, but most could actually stay quite dry. It is 14, possibly 15 in the city, but with a breezy wind, wind it is cold. Expect a dry morning, a fair bit of sunshine and only the slight chance of showers. To the eight day outlook, the next front is stronger so Sunday is wetter. It starts early in the morning, we're heading for a top of only 13. Again a gusty wind so it feels cold. The bitter air returns early next week. 13 Monday then 11 degrees on Tuesday. Heaps of showers moving through here, mainly in eastern suburbs. Then it is a long run out until the next high pressure system comes comes in. Lots of showers in eastern suburbs but generally dry in the west and through the whole thing it remains cold with that chilly wind. So it may briefly reach 15 tomorrow but the breezy wind is cold. We're looking at a burst of showers that's late tonight but tomorrow during the day it is mostly dry mitt. More good news from snow lovers. Though, <laughs> Indeed, a metre. Fantastic. Thank you, Jane. And that's the way it is this Friday the 3rd of June. Thanks for your company. For now from the Seven News team, good night. <laughs>